Oh, my arm's twisted. Oh, my goodness. My arms. What have I done? Man, every single time I play Hard Bullet, I always do something like this and end up breaking it. Welcome back to Hard Bullet. We are once again in Sandbox. We're going to do some messing around. And recently, a massive update came out in this game. The shopping carts now are over there. Are now over there. <gasps> So yeah, I'm not really too sure why they've been moved, but yeah, that's the only thing in the update. And I don't think we have any new experimental weapons, but you know, we'll still mess around with these a little bit later. <clears throat> is this thing loaded? Uh, yes, it is. But anyway, before I start murdering some ragdolls in the torture area, I'm gonna head over to the climbing arena and quickly create a custom gun. I really want to make this weapon right here tiny. I don't know if I've done it before, so let's see if it works. We'll just select another one. There we go. And then bullet scale 0.5. Okay, and that's all we need to do. Grab this, eject the mag, and place this one in. Okay, here we go. Yes! Tiny guns! <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Oh, can I put it on my back? Wow, it's like magic. It's gone back to its normal size anyway. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, I thought they were going to despawn me there. Yes, it's beautiful. Right, let's start the wave. And here we go. All I'm going to do is try and take some of them out with this tiny gun. It should be just as powerful. All that's happened is it's been scaled down. Uh-oh. Uh, reload. Oh, wait, the mags? They eject as a regular size mag? What? Okay. Ow. Ow. Get me out. I have to use one hand to climb because I can't put this on my back. Ah, oh, this is too difficult. Oi, back off. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can actually do the entire course again with these guys shooting at me. Maybe if I go in slow motion, I might have a better chance of actually climbing this. <sighs> oh, here we go. I can still use my other arm. It's fine. Yes. Oh, wait, this might be impossible, this next bit, though. Guys, stop shooting at me, please. Yeah, that's right, stay back. All right, how do I do this? So if I place my gun there and then reach for this and then... Oh, I'm doing it with one hand. Oh, the skills. The skills! I didn't even think this was possible! Oh, 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 that was so close. Die! Uh-oh, quick reload. Man, I actually can't wait to uh, <laughs> go back to the torch area and just kill some of these ragdolls. Okay. I wonder if this course is actually possible, though, with one hand only. Probably very difficult, but as you can see, I am doing it right now. Nice try, guys. Okay, I feel like I am cheating a little bit by being in slow motion here. <laughs> Take a few more of them out. It's just never-ending. What the? Ah! No! Oh, what the? My game glitched down. I almost fell off. We're doing so well, though. I can do this. Can I leave my gun on this? Yes. Okay, that works. Is this cheating? Because technically now I'm using both my hands. Oh, oh, yes. Parkour. You know, I'm thinking for this one, I actually might not need to grab onto the wood here. I might just be able to make the jump. Here we go. Oh, that's the ceiling. Oh, oh. Okay, I grabbed a little bit of it. We've done it, though. I'm about to do the entire course with only one hand. Well, kind of, anyway. I might have cheated a little bit. Whoa, what just happened there? Kind of bugged out, but it worked. Okay, let's jump again. And kill this guy. Left a bit. Okay, now the monkey bars here could be kind of difficult to do. There are so many of them over there. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, yes. And then... Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. Okay, use my other hand. Like this. Yes, that works. Now we're pretty much onto the last part of the climbing area. Yes. Oh, my hand. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're moving in. They're advancing. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I forgot. I have to... I have to reach for the other part. Don't worry, we're going back around anyway. All right, here we go. Bit of slow motion. Ow. Okay, and release. <gasps> oh, that was really close. Almost didn't make that one. <gasps> Okay, this happened last time. Don't worry. I know what to do. We just need to grab onto another piece like this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, this is so weird. No. Come on. We're so close now. Yes. I've completed the course using only one hand. Well, kind of anyway, and a bit of using slow motion, so kind of unfair. Let's see what other weapons I can create using the ammo. Maybe if we go for a tiny... What should we go for? What about a tiny suppressed pistol? I like the idea of that. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's the mag. Yes! <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right, buddy. You are going to be my test subject for my tiny suppressed pistols. So you get over there. Wait, where'd it go? No, we lost one. It's disappeared. Oh, well, I guess we can still use this one. 
<laughs> Look at him looking at me. That's so creepy. Ah, oh, nice. Works really good. Okay, so I've just quickly reset the level. And I've just realized something. I haven't really made huge weapons before. So let's just go ahead and do that instead. So let me place this one here as the ammo. Doesn't really matter what gun it is. And let's go for five. Oh, wait, it goes more. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, perfect. Hit pow. All right, and now let's see what this one is like, shall we? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh my! <laughs> oh, that's insane. Please tell me I can pick up both of them. I got one. It's so heavy. Okay, maybe not a good idea to hold both of them at the same time because I don't think that's even possible. Hey, look, it's loaded and everything. Cool. I mean, I have to hold the gun upside down. <laughs> But it works. Oh, man, this is ridiculous. All right, we need to get another enemy in. So let's go over here. Oh, where'd, it, where'd it go? Giant gun? Oh, great. Let's get another one in. But before we do that, let me spawn in a giant. So scale, let's go for, I think, five's the highest we can go to, isn't it? Oh, 3.5. Okay, that works. There we are. Now let's get another giant gun in. And you, my friend, are going to die. Okay, here we go. Gun is loaded. Uh, let's hold it upside down again because that seems to work pretty good. If I can even do it. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward. <laughs> okay, that works. And fire! <laughs> Yes. Okay. Check the mag. Wait, am I flying? I'm flying. Oh my goodness. This gun is glitched. I've turned it into a flying device and now I'm stuck in the corner. Hang on a minute. Let me try and turn this thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. I keep flying with this thing. So let's just leave it right there. And here we are. The first machine that I'm going to use is the drill. So let's get our victim in. This guy right here this ragdoll and as always they don't have feelings okay so it's fine they can't feel anything we do to them i'm going to put the drill through your ear <laughs> that's something i've not tried before this should be pretty interesting and just stay still ragdoll okay this won't hurt a bit all right down we go oh okay we have to try and be as accurate as we can right now this is very awkward to do uh oh here we go okay through the ear come on yes oh Oh, I think I kind of missed it. I might have missed his ear a little bit there. Oh, no. I am so sorry about this. Just to make sure. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I think. Whoa, what the? I think he's dead. Can this go down any lower? Oh, yes, it can. Oh, my arm's twisted. Oh, my goodness. My arms! What have I done? Man, every single time I play Hard Bullet, I always do something like this and end up breaking it. Oh, that's insane. That's insane. Hang on a minute. Oh! Oh! <laughs> breaking everything! Oh! The shopping cart has gone flying. Okay, maybe I should actually just release. Here we go. Oh! He's flying. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna release my arms now. Ta-da! Yay! Now, this next guy, well, I'm going to go ahead and put him on one of the spikes over there. So, this way, my friend, let's go. I wonder how many spikes we can impale you on. Here we go. Comfy, right? Hey, let's get your leg up, too. Let's just move you a little bit. Oh, I got his arm. His hand is stuck in there. Now your foot. That's it. Down you go. Push. That's not really working out. Hmm. This hand seems fine. Can I get it in there? No, maybe this one. Ah! That was my wall! Oh, that's what I get for torturing these ragdolls. I don't have feelings. But now, I think it's time to use the meat grinder. So in a previous video of mine, what I actually did is put a bunch of ragdolls in there and then turn the machine on. But I'm thinking maybe if I shrink down the ragdolls, make them tiny, that way I could probably fit in a lot more of them, right? I don't think I've tried this before. So let's just see how many ragdolls we can actually get in the meat grinder. This is going to be pretty insane. All right, scale, 0.5. And then maybe we should just spawn in a bunch of them. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's gonna get a little bit laggy. Whoa, what the? All right, my friends, this way. <laughs> Let's go. Because they're so light as well, they're really easy to carry. So we're just gonna throw them all in like that. Oh, you can't even see them once they're in. Look at that. They actually go into the grinder itself to begin with. Oh man, that is so many tiny ragdolls. Okay, my friend, you're up next, all right. This way, let's go into the meat grinder. Wait, hang on a minute. We have a bit of fun before you die. Wee! Sorry. 
Hey, how did you get out? Get back in there. Wait, what? How are they, how are they getting through? <laughs> hey, why does he look so creepy? Get back it. I can't reach. Ugh. Okay, maybe these guys are maybe a little bit too small for this. I don't know. These guys seem okay, though. Right, this is the last tiny ragdoll that I'm going to put in. I think we actually might need to scale them up a little bit because, well, a lot of them just seem to, like, phase through it for some reason. Look at them all. Look, how are they doing that? Get in there. I don't know. They might end up still being, like, grinded up. I'm not too sure, though. Let's find out, I guess. All right. Here we have a bunch of tiny ragdolls. They are in there. It's hard to see them. But we are now going to switch on the device. Okay, here we go, everyone. And press. Oh! Oh! <laughs> My game got really laggy there. Flying tiny ragdoll pieces went absolutely everywhere. What is this? What is that? I have not got a clue. I'm just gonna leave this right here. Oh man, can I jump in there? Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm fine. It can't affect me. Hey, look, some survivors. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> and again, in you go. Oh, this game is evil and twisted. All right, here we go. Oh, oh! Oh, look, another survivor. <laughs> oh, what a shot. Oh, no, look at this poor fellow, though. He's, like, stuck in the machine. I'll get you out. Ah! There we go. I need to put you back in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, let's, let's just switch that off. Oh, whoa, it's raining body parts right now. What a mess we have made. So I've gone ahead and cleaned up. Let's do that again, but this time, instead, we're gonna scale them up a little bit more. So we're just gonna go for 0.8, so that way they're not too tiny, and hopefully that way we should be able to see them a little bit better. Right, it's getting pretty full right now, so I think these two fellas might be the last ones to go in there, otherwise it's just going to get a bit too hectic. All right, there we go. And you, my friend, are the last one in to go right. There, there we go, look at that. And here we go. The Me Grinder is now filled with ragdolls. All we have to do is press the big red button once again and watch them fly all over the place. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, get ready. Oh, oh my goodness, oh jeez. What a mess. Oh wow, look at how it's spinning. I'd say that was pretty good. High five. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!